Let's start with the economic uh, provisions. Yes. Get into some details. Yes. Uh, our, there are 11 sentences in our Constitution that would limit uh, first uh, public utilities. 60-40, the mm. most that the foreign investors can, can invest in this country is 40%. 40%. Okay. Mm. Development of natural resources, of which we have a lot, uh, mm. only 40%. And then uh, mass media, uh, 30%. Mm. Uh, education, 100%. Advertising, 70%. Tapos lease of land, 60-40. So we are saying that instead of fixing this in stone, like in the Constitution, which there can never be any change, we are saying, just like the other constitutions in the other ASEAN countries, we are the only constitution in Southeast Asia, mm. 10 countries, where the constitution really fixes it, Okay. and makes it really Naka impossible. Naka-prescribed. No? Naka oh, to be, na to be clear oh, so po, itong resolution has oh. no specific prescription. Instead, the, the addition is to empower Congress Correct. to decide that later on. Yes, to be able... This is Basically, this, you're taking it away from the Constitution and, and just yes, putting it in their Yes, giving it a flexibility. Mm. What are the needs of the times? No? Yeah. Singapore, 50 billion a year, 2018. Uh, uh, Vietnam, 24. Uh, Malaysia, 15. Uh, uh, Thailand, 15. Philippines, 8, eight billion. Mm. You see? That, therefore, what we're saying is we really need those investments because our unemployment rate now is 5.6. Mm. The underemployment is about 16%. So we have 22% okay. unemployed. So you know, what we're saying is that we see that this will enable our, with new industries coming here, with new factories and corporations and, fac and, and companies, they will hire more Filipinos mm -hmm. and our, there will be... So we're a, attracting uh, yes. foreign investors yes. in effect. Yes. In effect. Yeah, that is what of course, going again, to be again, this is coming yeah. at a time when there's so much talk about nationalizing even mm. the water utilities. Mm. Well, so parang nalilito na nga ang publiko ngayon. Ano ba talaga ang gustong gawin ng gobyernong ito? I-nationalize, halimbawa, ang water distribution. And yet now, merong constitutional amendment na gustong i-propose na sinasabi in effect na hindi Congress na, kami na magde-decide kung sinong pwedeng mag-invest na foreign investor. To national, uh, it, it still, the, the, the water, the water uh, issue, there's no such uh, thing yet as nationalizing it. That's not a policy. What the President has done is to question the onerous provisions yes. and that it's possible that there can be new, a new contract. Because, you know, it's difficult to nationalize. It will yeah. send a bad, uh, you know, uh, message to everyone that, ah, oh, business ka, pwede namin kunin, no. Okay. It's still, uh, yeah, but it's still e, e, short of, I, I yeah. agree, that wasn't necessarily the line. Yeah. But yeah. short yes. of nationalizing, hmm. one of the big uh, contexts now is the question of people, na, of how stable and how predictable is the investment climate in in the Philippines. Now, I know a lot of people have always wanted to take away the foreign ownership restrictions in many industries. Mm -hmm. But now I think about it in the context of what's happened the past two weeks, if you give it now to politicians, yes. frankly, exactly. and if the politicians say, oh, sige, simula kayon, hanggang 90%, pwede. Oh. But if it's, uh, if it's now uh, run-of-the-mill legislation, how are, how are we sure are we that in the next three years, the next Congress says, hindi, balik natin to 80%, exactly. balik natin sa 40%. That is the flexibility that is there. We still believe that with Congress, they can get the advice of NEDA, of the Finance Department, and then be able to really see what our economy would need. That is being done mm. in the nine other countries in the in the Southeast Asia, yeah. where it is the parliament that they that will decide on the number and percentage of investment. Yeah. We, we the start with the economic, economic provisions. Yeah. Because, you know, we always say about well, we have economic growth, then we will have jobs, then we will. Mm -hmm. Let's find. You know, if you look at Asia, uh, the the golden years of the uh, of, of the best countries. Right, the four, the four uh, tigers. Yes. Uh, guess how much foreign direct investment is in their investment? Mm. Below five percent. So that's Singapore, Your, Korea. The, yeah. the only ones above five percent was Singapore, Hong Kong, and Malaysia. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Then, if you take a look at what happened afterwards, now uh, it's it's really just two percent uh, in this uh, in this tiger economies. A foreign. And then now. Uh, then later on, it became not under 10%, but that's it. So the question is, how important is foreign direct investment to us? You cannot say, na, well, 
any investment is good because it will create jobs. But you're 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 looking at the way our 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 services, for example, can be can be can be done. Now, ang tinatamaan lang talaga land, natural resources, and public utilities. Right? Under natural resources, under Section Two of Article Twelve of the Constitution, mm. Paragraph Four, there can be a hundred percent ownership by foreigners uh, under the Labugal case decided by the Supreme Court for what they call the uh, foreign uh, foreign technical mm. and, and financial agreement correct 100% mm. so what are you what are you talking about may pwede 100% under under that provision and partner ni la government are you seeing an ulterior motive for changing this provision? it's about power and about money <laughs>